Hi, let's learn how to throw your voice. Almost all animals, humans included, can throw the voice to specific spots. It's obviously just within us for instincts. So that means that in a room like this, I could throw my voice to um, these chairs there. Or I could throw it to the corner. I could throw it to the opposite corner. You hearing differences? I could throw it to the center of the room up there where it's gonna create the biggest fountain effect. Now I tried to do all of those at the same volume just so that you can hear that when you're singing in a big space where you throw your, sorry, jumping around there, where you throw your voice to is going to make your voice sound a lot louder or a lot softer. And if we just uh, sent it to a first row of audience here, it wouldn't really get very far. So we've already decided that this barn, this beautiful space, is in E flat. And so let's hear those couple of notes just directionally. We'll send it down there. To that corner. Over there. Far better in the corner, right? Or to the front now. Actually, I went softer. Just <laughs> let's do it properly. Huh. Um, so from here, it's effortlessly spreading. Now, how did I know that that was the fontanelle of this area? That's direct. That's uh, specifically the halfway of the roof from. Oh, sort of from the nice solid area. I take it from there, down to there, halfway. And in the old days, normally there would be a, um, a dome there. Because if you could get your voice to the dome, it's going to fontanelle down to the entire room. And you can hear it as you walk around. If I send it to here, it's not nearly as loud. Um... Why is that one better than, why is the closer corner not better than the further corner? Why is the further corner better? That's better. That whole billiards thing, uh, that as it's crossing there, it's more likely to bounce up here there. I'm aiming for uh, just to the side of a corner up high so that it starts pinging around the room. Yeah, let's aim it there. It's just, it's likely to come back straight back at me more. Oh, it's not nearly as long reverb, is it? Oh, there you are there, sorry. Um, and let's just sing over an audience's head here, just straight there, straight towards a flat wall. Won't go nearly as well. Yeah, nothing happens. Um, so how do we do that within performance so that it's natural, so that you can't see me aiming my voice towards interesting acoustic spots? So a pretty nice performing spot here. So I want to be able to do that without my hand to there. I want to be able to do that to the corners now I've got to put that inside a performing uh, physicality so that you're not noticing me go to the audience, to the audience, and high note. Um, yeah, because you'll really see it. Um, so one of the first things that I do for my students as they're learning beginner songs is to learn how to, uh, the first step in studio, is to learn just how to typewriter across the audience, pretending that it's an auditorium in rows. Let's give them sort of 14 rows or so. So we're gonna go, twinkle, twinkle, little star. Yes, I use my hand because the eyes tend to dart and we have to teach the eyes to move slowly. So looking past your finger, actually you can look at me do that. I'm gonna have my 
finger there going, twinkle, twinkle, little star. I take a breath, I'm gonna clunk down a row. Mm -hmm. How I wonder what you are, clunk. I'm gonna look past my finger. Up above the world so high, clunk. Like a diamond in the sky, clunk. Now, let's do that. Watching the head. Once you can do that effortlessly, the next step is being able to hide it within what looks like random, and later on, it'll just happen really naturally. But this is getting you past that um, student stage where you're maybe just looking at one spot on a back wall, singing like that. So, across the back, da -da -dee -da -ba -ba -ba. let's go halfway and clunk down to some front rows down here. Da -da -dee -da 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 -da. Down to the centre, why not? Da -da -da. And we're going to go slowly up to the back right. Da -da -dee -da 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 -da. Up to the left, because we haven't seen them. Ba -ba -dee -ba 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 -ba. Oh, row three, cross that. And over there, and to the center at the back, if that would feel right. And sometimes you'd want to bring it in close. <laughs> I keep looking over at the red dot, but you're actually at that end of the phone, so I'm sorry about that. Um, okay, so that looks like. That's a beginning. The more that you practice looking at your audience over the space of a song, the more they'll get the feeling that you're singing just for them. You want to be able to get into their area about once every 40 seconds. If you've left it for two, three minutes, you've, you've lost them. And, and don't move too fast, right? So lots of people, when you say, look at the audience, just end up sort of doing this. You haven't contacted any of them. Um, right, so now we can move around our audience. Now we've got to get those Fontenelle points in. So now, based on the lyrics and the emotion of the piece, where could you, the more emotional parts you want to get into the fontanelle corners and throw the voice. Be a bit harder on Twinkle Twinkle, but we can do it. Ta-da, ooh, ha. I'll get it into the room, it's okay. Ha, ha, ha. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Right, that, I was able to do that to the top of the phrase, but I started with audience. Let's do that again. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Again, that's for about her thing. Ha, now I'm going to throw it to that back corner. Oh, I might not. I'm going to put it off for the next big phrase. How I wonder what you are. I've brought it down. As the phrase was simpler, I've gone to one of the points that doesn't ring as much in the room. Dun. Up above the world so high. I just threw it to that corner over there. So it would ring. Like a diamond in the sky. It's very operatic. Twinkle. Yeah, so I'm down here for the smaller bits. Twinkle, twin. I might throw it again there. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. And now I'm going to throw to several fontanelle spots at the end so you can really hear me. How I wonder what you are. Yeah? Let's do that. Let's just listen to the opposite of that if I just sing it flat. La di tiku da da da, ba da di da 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 da, ba da di da 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 da, ba ba bi da 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 da. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Come sing like that. Okay. Oh. Mm -hmm. 
physically throwing it there. Try not to lift up your head as much as the whole chest area. You don't want that. Right. Learn singing in big rooms. Don't sing across them. Bye.